long. So it's very similar to the wrist. You want the same motion of the ankle and the knee to go as one. So you don't want your ankle to fake more tibia rotation than you have. So just think about the tibia rotating. And also too, what you can do is you can place uh, one hand on your tibia and just give you a little tactile feedback if you're actually rotating through there. That's another good cue. So a little tactile feedback in that motion. So all we're doing here is an axial rotation, so internal, external. So big toe towards the midline would be internal, and then external would be that heel trying to touch the ceiling. Now as we go internal, I want you to pause there. That might be a deficit it is with most people. And then when you go with external, I want you to pause there. So spending more time in your end ranges is giving you a lot of benefit. Okay, if this is, this is feeling good for you, stay here. You want to progress it a little bit? Let's add flexion extensions.